Yo, what is up my YouTube family, man? We are back again with another video. And I'm just now getting in from being out on the yak all morning. But I wanted to give y'all a little bit of a rundown on your boy and what I've been up to. I partnered up with this rod company, right? Not just your average rod company, man. I'm telling you, these rods are primo carbon fiber. Woo! That's just sexiness. What we have here is the Handing Fishing M1 7.3 Medium Heavy. This rod right here, this is what I'll be throwing all of my heavier swim jigs, all of my heavy swim baits, all of my draws, my six cents glide baits, some of my, my frogs, a lot of a lot of baits with a lot of heavy line right over here we have 30 pound braid on here this rod right here is perfect for when i'm out there slaying frogfish like the clip is popping up right now this is the rod i will be using like i said you got that m1 look at that look at the look at that butt design look at that Ooh, look at the taper look at the weave on that carbon fiber and yes it does match all the way around now slide down we're still sliding we're still sliding what we have next bam it's the seven foot medium heavy spinning rod spinning combo same design all purpose finesse rod right here like i said a lot of my ned rigs my drop shots my little small tiny swim baits um my even weightless wacky rigs I will be throwing with this rod right here uh, seven foot medium heavy just the design on it thing. look at the weave on that rod right there the quality the build the handle the grip everything feels nice it's got a good texture to it it's not like extremely soft to where it feel like it's gonna fall apart over time like a lot of these rods that have like really soft grips those tend to not last long this grip has the same quality as some of my favorite fishing rods that I've had in the past. Like I said, my overall favorite spinning rod was the b lat rod. And that's only because that grip, like you see right here, was up front over the reel. That was the only re that's the only difference between this and that. But the, the texture right here is still the same. I like that it doesn't have that texture right here. Because sometimes, you know, we just sit our rods down. And they hit the ground, they lay in the ground, you know, this bottom part hits the ground, which I like this, you know, you, get a, you can wipe that off, call it a day. But that's my seven foot spinning. I also have this in a 6.6 six, uh, spinning combo. I don't have it down right now because I only went out with four rides today. And then on to the next, we have my go-to, my favorite at the moment. This is my favorite. Uh, uh, it's just so light. It's just like, I'm like, I'm not even holding anything. It's the, it's got the most abuse too because I use it like pretty much every single day. It's the 6.6 six medium heavy compared with the Shimano Matanium DC 2024 version. But this one, I can beat a bank with this all day because it doesn't feel like I'm, ah, oh, it feels like I'm not, like, like, I feel like I'm holding an ink pen. Like I got ink pens that feel like this. It's, it's amazing. Good bend on it, fast action. So you get that real quick, fast action with it. Like I said, I've pulled in some big fish with this thing. And it's been amazing. Ever since I laid hands on an M1, ooh, 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 it's just sexy. All up and down. Kind of feels, this rippling right here, feels kind of like a six cents MF rod got the fuji guides so you know it's gonna be every cast is smooth like butter like i said everything on every one of these rods i throw something weightless on and they cast like amazing all right on to the next is the carbon copy which is in a seven foot version this is the seven foot medium heavy m1 rod same concept when it comes to the handle amazing but i mean great bend. it's all, all every ride is fast action which is a which i love a fast action rod like i said i don't want that bend to come way down here because i'm bank fishing a lot of times and when that bend is too much from the bank you'll lose a fish 
lose a fish or high stick your rod real quick so that fast action tip is amazing but for right now every time i go out this is what you will see you will see at least two bait casters or two spinning rods in the m1 medium heavy setting this rod is is occasional i will take this rod out if i'm getting out early morning right at dusk well not dusk dawn right at dawn or at dusk when i do get out and try to throw top water this is what i'll be taking but if i get out late nine out of ten i will be rocking uh six six medium heavy spinning six six medium heavy casting along with two seven foot medium heavies but that's the lineup right now so if you're looking to step into the m1 category and you want to get a rod best believe these are one of the cheapest and best options on the market if you're looking to get any one of these you're looking at about 70 dollars for $70, I think, that is a good stretch. Yeah, it's about $70. Sometimes we have sales. Like I said, if you use my discount code, which is in the description below, it's going to get you 5% off on Amazon. Here in the U.S., in the States, you are getting this rod right here. I'm telling you, if it's for the first time in my fishing life since COVID, and I've been going hard with fishing, I can thoroughly say I am overly and overly pleased with each and every action, each and every time I go out when I know I got this M1 rod, man, even looking down at it, man, the design is amazing. Black has always been my favorite color. Green has always been my second favorite color. And we got that here, baby. We got that here over at Hand and Fisher. So if you got any time on your hands, go by Amazon, look up, type in handing fishing, or use the link in the description to check these rods out. If you look in the comments, if you look in the reviews, you will see what I did with a 662 piece M1. That should let you know everything you need to know about this rod. But if you're looking for a budget rod that stands up to big fish, this is what you need to go with. We're not doing none of that flashy. This is it flashy $150, $300 rods that if you break, you cry. You break one of these, anything happens, you're only spending about $70. $50 to $70. Sometimes even cheaper than that. The fish I caught my PB on was a two-piece. I spent $32, people. $32 two-piece rod bringing in nine to ten pounders so if that's not enough said then what is other than that we're about to pull these rods out and uh i'm gonna go hit a bank somewhere for sure i'm taking the two wackies two different colors i gotta go back and forth with the wackies i can't keep changing the worm we just doo -doo -doo. but uh thanks for watching like comment subscribe man I have it. If I haven't said enough about the M1, just check out the previous videos and you'll see what the M1 does, man. It pulls out fish with ease. I was throwing this 7.3 medium heavy the other day with the frog on it, and I yanked out a three and a half, three, three and a half pounder out the water with that thing. Didn't even, I didn't even stand a chance. I reeled, ow, poked myself. I reeled twice, pulled up, grabbed the rod, and that fish was in my hand. So, best believe. It can get it done. Peace.